today is about learning about the parts of a parabola. A parabola is a curve that comes from a quadratic equation. So let's review its parts. This blue curve here is the parabola. The parabola has three parts. There's a vertex, it's a point. There's a focus, it's a point. And there's a directrix, which is a line. Now what's interesting is the vertex is actually lying on the parabola itself. The focus does not, the directrix does not. But the vertex, it's exactly between the focus and the directrix. And here's what I mean exactly between. If, if the vertex was, let's say, three units away from the directrix, then that means it's also three units away from the focus. So it's the same amount of steps away from the focus as it is far away from the directrix. There's also something interesting is that the parabola, the blue curve, will always curve toward the focus, never toward the directrix. Always curves toward the focus. Let's start graphing a parabola. So we have a parabola here with a focus of 0, 0,3 and a directrix at y equals negative 3. This is a point. This is a line. Okay, let's graph the point. This is the x-coordinate. This is the y-coordinate. So x-coordinate is 0, y-coordinate is 3. There's the focus. The directrix is a line, so I'm going to graph a dotted line y equals negative 3, so I go on the y-axis, I find where negative 3 is, here's negative 1, whoops, negative 1, 2, 3. So that's where my line is going to be, right here. So I put y equals negative 3, that's my directrix. So the parabola that we're going to graph, you have to figure out where, how to curve it, and where its vertex is. Well, it's going to curve towards the focus, so it's going to curve like this. Where should I put the parabola? Well, it's exactly in between the focus and the directrix. So exactly in between would be right there, because it would be three units from the focus and three units from the directrix. So here's the parabola, and then we just curve the parabola going in the direction of the focus. You just sketch it, and you sketch it with an arrow like that to show the parabola does go for forever upward. Let's try another one. Graph a parabola with a focus of 3, negative 6, and a directrix at y equals 0. So 3, negative 6 means I have to go 3 to the right, then 6 down, which is approximately right here. And then we have a directrix at y equals 0. So here's the y-axis. 0 is right here, which is actually the x-axis. So it's actually this line right there, right on top of the x-axis. This is y equals 0. Now to figure out where the vertex is going to be, the vertex is going to be the same distance away from the focus as from the directrix. So it's going to have to be right there. It's going to line up with the focus, three units away, then three units away from the directrix. So now I can curve my parabola. It's going to curve towards the focus, so in this case, it's curving downward. The last parabola to curve, this one's a little different. This one has a focus at negative 2, 0, but a directrix at x equals 1. That's a different kind of directrix we haven't seen before. Let's just graph the focus for now. Negative 2, 0 means I'm going to go left 2, then stay on the x-axis, so there's my focus right here. The directrix is an x-line, 
So that means I go on the x-axis and I find the number 1, which is right here. So the line is actually a vertical line this time. x equals 1. And now I have to find the vertex so I can curve the parabola. The vertex is going to be exactly the same unit away, away from the focus and from the directrix. So it's not going to be exactly, it's going to be right there. And it's going to curve towards the focus. So I guess this is a sideways parabola. It's curving that way. So there you have it. Now you know how to graph a parabola.